the the area that I was most excited about to learn was was really um, this issue of deferred maintenance or aging infrastructure. Okay. Because it's such a big topic. Yeah. That nobody's really ever benchmarked that before. Um, so yeah, it was concerning to me when I when I saw that you know there was there was a high level of deferred maintenance. It is costing us three to four times the amount that it probably should if we just had the money available. Um, but what I so I'm I'm concerned about that. And also most of the most of the time there's an unplanned shutdown. It, it's it's because it was in deferred maintenance. Um, it, it wasn't, you know, there, there's all these shutdowns that are happening is because we, we're not being proactive and we're putting them in deferred maintenance. So not only is it costing us more, but it's also uh, most of the time it's impacting revenue as well. Yeah. So we don't necessarily we, quant. Go ahead. We, um, I think that's where you were just talking. I was going to say, were you able to quantify that? Yeah. So we actually show, well, we weren't able to say, well, you know, it's this, this dollar amount, but we were able to say yeah. most of the time uh, sure. a shutdown occurs it's it's impacting revenue so not only does it cost us three or four times more but on top of that we're we're, we're losing revenue yeah. so so even though it's this is kind of a it's a negative in that we're showing wow deferred maintenance is really costing us a lot of money um there's a positive spin to that to say well now we actually have data that can support us in in developing a business case instead of just kind of saying hey we're, we're all really nervous that <laughs> you know, something might, you know, something might shut down and we yeah. really, you know, this, this, this boiler is really on its last leg and it's, it's all, you know, historically it's all been kind of uh, quantitative or qualitative and we don't feel good about it. And it, you, yeah. but now we have real, real dollars and cents that, that, that facilities leaders can use to, to now compete, right? Because there's limited capital. And so we're competing against uh, a lot of times revenue generating proposals to say, hey, if I buy this new MRI, we're going to see this ROI. Now we can actually compete on level ground with those type of, of capital requests because of the data that, that we now have. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is information that a director can take right up to the CFO and, and, and tie it directly there to a, to a cause. That that's I think that's the beauty of it. Yeah. So it's 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 information that can now be used to, to develop capital requests that can compete fairly with an ROI attached to it to other other assets.